You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The heart in these people. How they rallied behind their yard. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> They love my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal, because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Hemingway? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to hemming a yawl. Let us not burden ourselves with the all-thing choice. Parts for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. 
I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy. And trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a And a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. For the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narsh Stick. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Starvenger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's Is that bed. what you call your house? Ah! <laughs> 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 Stoneber, was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go. Ha! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. with him. Safety! Thank you, stranger. I thought this was my last day on Midgard.
please, leave me be! Not me! My wife! Save her first! I have to move fast. She has drawn her last breath. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? You carry the woman! Nicola, I will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, Sancti, oh, Father! Hold on to me. I can get you out. I will tend to the injured, but there are many. <sighs> oh, thank you, Vili. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same our stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. My father needs me. I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? You braced yourself for what is to come. I... I have made my peace with the future. Yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. You found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts, the 
have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Oh, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran, carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the Longhouse! I'm in the arms at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. long past makes me feel young again hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior Aphorn a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse I had many good teachers Hemingway y'all you chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh. From your mother's womb, I've watched you grow. A dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. Oh, man. 
I thought I... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help. How do you mean? I draw smiles from the. If you fancy a rap. I will fly. Perfect. With a way. My. Thank you. Let us begin. What know you of the power of fleet? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With... Yeah, I could feel when you. On your every word. I'm as... Yes! I could fleet more, but instead of... Well... That was so, uh... It was only... Yes, of course. It's been a true... <laughs> to the halls and be heralded by roaring flames. Should a new threat to Hemthorpe emerge, who will step up to meet it? Really? I'm not sure. Eivor. Drengor. Suniva, thank you. Uh. The sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Kuryab. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trudley. I pledged my life's oath to Hemming Kuryab. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. 
The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its... He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind. Thank you. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a yarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety.
are the wolf-kissed one. The raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingha left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten. Before the pyre is lit. Follow. And bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriak with ale and open arms. You have the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingway Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omen. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Ascend the sleeper, take the drink, and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. Mingoyal? Is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. 
To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. This is not how I remember you. Is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, A4. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? What was needed? I have... more than enough. You have seen what was needed? I have... more than enough.
festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre's lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. Saxon did what? How dare he harm the culture? He's a dead. Did you see that sobbing sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? He's a dead. Let's see you, old friend. He's a dead man. What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help, fire, save my poor guide birds. Help, fire, save my poor guide birds. Too late for your... your boda, as you say. Ah, balls. I dragged it all the way from Rus. It is back to water ale for me, I suppose. If you drink enough, ale is a fine fix to any problem. Very true, very true. Join me if you desire. in the belly never hurt. madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your... I asked you a question. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. No, he cowers behind a locked door. I only did right by his immortal soul. You will get what is right. Stretch your wings, Sunan. People are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. <laughs> You've got the key! Use it! Stay out here now! For your wrongs, desecrator. Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Hemminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go.
Thor, you've saved my life. Uh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me to let him know. <laughs> They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. But time... Yes, it will. Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retreat. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkathor? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. Head on to the cavern, Eivor. East beyond awaits me elsewhere. You are a difficult man to find. Uh, um, I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Stop, stop, stop. 
Das heilige Fett. Steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Who are you? A friend of Heminger's? Or a man exiled by his order? It does not matter who I was. I am nameless now. I am no one. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Weirs, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming the Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. The old thing is tomorrow, and the Jarl must be chosen. I should speak to Sunima about this. Consult the Volvo. And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trikvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trikvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trukvi. Each man wears one of Heminger's boots. With both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head. Any hill you summit. Any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man that people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And Trickvi, 
Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow- I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death with. This is no small decision, Trukvi. And not with- But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <clears throat> Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave to- Ah, oh, stick! You should have roused me first. Sh Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pit. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show- His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Sunna. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Ville saw the scout killed and then charged up the enemy ahead and make sure our...